Merry Christmas. I'm currently in my home office and I just finished building one of the coolest Lego sets ever created. If you're a fan of Christmas movies, then you will easily recognize Kevin McAllister's house from Home Alone. Let me share with you my Lego building experience. The Home Alone Lego set came about from crowdfunding program Legos Ideas, which allows fan creation designs to be uploaded and voted on by fans. If a submitted fan idea receives 10,000 votes, the set is reviewed by Lego designers and could be made into an official set. Some of these sets that became a reality included the Big Bang Theory, Voltron, and the Friends Central Perk. In 2019, Alex Storisher, a Ukrainian Lego fan, uploaded his design of the McAllister House and received 10,000 votes. The set was approved and released as a 3,955-piece set. Home Alone is one of my favorite Christmas movies, telling the story of Kevin McAllister forgotten by his family and left home alone as they head to Paris for a vacation. I made my family disappear. When his mom discovers he is missing, she does everything she can to make it home to her son. Luckily, Kevin is home to defend the house from the two burglars, the Wet Bandits, Harry and Marv. With the help of old man Marley, Kevin defeats the wet bandits, waking up on Christmas morning to his mother arriving home. The set comes with five minifigures. Wet bandits Harry comes with a police cap and an interchangeable winter cap, and Marv, who both have crowbars. A few figures have two faces, including Marv, with the imprint of the iron for a nice touch. Harry! I'm coming in! And Mrs. McAllister and Kevin screaming. And don't forget about his neighbor, Old Man Marley, who comes with his shovel. When you build the set, the instructions come in this 475-page book. Yes, 475 pages, broken up into 24 bags of pieces. You begin by putting together the Wet Bandit's van. Staying true to the look in the film, the fake plumber van is a simple vehicle, allowing both bandits to sit side by side. The roof is removable, with a crate in the back to hold all the stolen goods. Let's take a look at the house. <laughs> and that's the one, Marv, and that's the silver tuna. Oh, it's very cheap. Very cheap, huh? It's loaded.
completely enclosed, unlike a lot of the latest LEGO structures, which had an open back dollhouse style. The first two levels open up to reveal the interiors of the third floor, opening up from the top of the roof. Each level also easily disconnects and is very solid with little fear of falling apart. Third floor? Go. It's scary up there. The room where Kevin is made to sleep after causing a commotion in the kitchen features the sofa bed where Kevin slept. Next to the bed is a table with a lamp and a soda can, a callback to his cousin Fuller who drinks way too much Pepsi and wets the bed. How oh, easy on the Pepsi! <laughs> also on the desk is Kevin's master plan to keep the burglaries away with a giant spider web off to one side. One detail that shows how much the designers paid attention to the movie is a gumball machine that you briefly see for two seconds in the film. To access the second floor, the entire roof section can be removed for easier access. On the far left is Buzz's bedroom filled with Home Alone Easter eggs. A Home Alone 2 reference with an ad for Duncan's toy chest is on the desk. Above the bed hangs the BB gun and on the wall is a picture of Buzz's girlfriend, Woof. Buzz, your girlfriend, Woof. The locked chest under the photo contains a heart, but no Playboy magazine. No clothes in anybody, sickening. The shelf where Kevin climbs to reach Buzz's money is interactive. When you push the piece on the back of the house, the shelves collapse, dropping the cash and the fireworks that Kevin uses to mimic gunshots. Whoa! You could also hang the tarantula in the hallway outside, where Kevin places it on Mars' face so he can escape to the third floor. The hallway has some family photos and candles on a table mimicking the decor even down to the color. At the top of the stairs is a paint can on a string that Kevin can release swinging down to the first floor to knock down the bandits. This is a cool feature, however it takes a lot of work to place Harry or Marv on the stairs from the first floor and knocking him down with the you paint You guys cans. give up or you're thirsty for more? At the end of the hall is a bathroom where Kevin cleaned all his major crevices, including in between his toes and his belly button. I took a shower washing every body part with actual soap, including all my major crevices, including in between my toes and in my belly button, which I never did before but sort of enjoyed. The stool that he stands on is in front of the sink with the aftershave lotion bottle on the shelf to the left. The snow, da, 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 on the right shelf is a stolen toothbrush that Kevin took from the drugstore, running away from old man Marley. Wait, son, you have to pay for that toothbrush. Son? Son? <gasps> hey! I'm a criminal. Behind the bathroom is Kevin Parent's bedroom, with the giant bed made to look undone, with a box of popcorn that Kevin eats, thinking he made his parents disappear. Next to the popcorn is the alarm clock, reset to 12 o'clock a.m. when the house loses power. Once you remove the second level, you can easily access the first floor. The living room is loaded with details. In the right corner is one of Kevin's favorite things, the Christmas tree. The tree is decorated with two turtle doves, and on the wall is a picture of the Chrysler building, giving us two references to the sequel. Keep one, and you give the other one to a very special person. <laughs> Under the tree is the Lego Ideas Home Alone set, with a few of Kevin's micro machines. In the back of the room is a fireplace with stockings, and in front is the blue green chair where Kevin watches angels with filthy souls while eating ice cream. Too bad AC ain't in charge no more. What do you mean? Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. Yeah. You better come out and stop me. Most of the room is taken up by Kevin's contraption, which he builds to trick the wet bandits into thinking the family is home and having a Christmas party. In the movie, Kevin uses a cardboard cutout of Michael Jordan from the Bulls, but for licensing reasons, we get the same jersey number, but the team is the Bricks. 
The cutout sits on top of a train that turns from a knob on the side of the house that moves a simple gear mechanism. The mechanism turns a mannequin bust on the record turntable in the dining room on the other side of the house as well. In the back of the dining room is the grandfather clock set at 9 o'clock p.m. when the bandits planned on arriving. In the other corner is a giant fan that blows the feathers on the floor. So now you're dead! <laughs> My biggest complaint, however, is the design of the dining room chairs. The legs use these curved spikes, which constantly causes them to fall over. On the table is Kevin's highly nutritious microwavable macaroni and cheese dinner that was on sale. Are those microwave dinners any good? I don't know. I'll give them a whirl. In the back of the house is another two-story section that can be detached from the main structure. On the top floor is the kitchen that replicates the look from the film right down to the ugly green counters. You can open up the fridge with two more macaroni and cheese dinners placed inside. Next to the fridge is a little Nero pizza box with a second one that opens up to reveal a pepperoni pizza on the kitchen island. Next to the microwave is a kitchen TV playing Angels with Filthy Souls, which Kevin uses to prank the pizza delivery guy and Marv. Keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> A lovely cheese pizza just for me. Above the door is a blowtorch that burns Harry's head <laughs> and a working doggy door where Marv is shot by Kevin attempting to enter. Hello. Outside of the kitchen is a set of steps that leads down to the icy entrance of the basement with a garbage can outside the door. In the garbage can is a really nice detail of Kevin's plane ticket, which was accidentally thrown away after Buzz ate Kevin's plane pizza. The kitchen can disconnect to reveal the basement. Entering through the door is the wash and dryer on the left. Then when you turn the rod in the kitchen, it releases the iron into the basement, hitting Marv in the face. In the corner is a furnace which lights up. The details of this are fantastic and match the look of that scary looking furnace. Imagination. Leading up to the walkway in front of the house is a statue that continuously knocked over by the pizza guy. The welcome mat is monogrammed to represent the McAllister family and the handle on the front door is red burning Harry's hands. The entryway to the house features one last fun feature. At the top of the stairs, Kevin on his sleigh is pushed by a knob outside and down the stairs. He doesn't always go through the door. Behind the house is Kevin's treehouse from the third floor to escape the bandit zip lining on a rope with a bicycle handlebar. Once he lands in the treehouse, Kevin uses a pair of clippers hanging on the wall to cut the rope, slamming the bandit hey against the home. So, final thoughts. This set is an amazing build, packed with Easter eggs from the movie. It's a well-structured set and a must-have for people who love Christmas and Home Alone. I would love to see a few expansion packs, including the Little Nero's pizza delivery car and driver, and the rented box truck with Guy Polinsky, the Pogo King on the Midwest, and clarinet player for the Kenosha Kickers. <laughs> This was fun to revisit reviewing toys. For years, I helped run MillionairePlayboy.com. 
check out that website and check out all the LEGO reviews that I used to do. The Home Alone LEGO set has been around for a few years and it will eventually be retired, so don't wait. Go pick it up today. If you do want to purchase it, I put a link in the description below of where you can buy it. If you enjoyed this review, then I would welcome you to click on that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm the Christmas aficionado, and remember, stay off the naughty list.